Hey, what's up guys? My name is Lawrence Philip, aka DJ Random, and today we're gonna be working on Massive again. And what we're gonna be working on is a uh, kind of like a percussive sounding chords, something that you can find in Calvin Harris and Rihanna's latest single. This is what you came for. If you're wondering what that sounds like, it's something along this line. That chord sound is the one that we're going to be working on. And we can actually find this part in the chorus part of the track. But as always with my tutorial, you know, I'm not about to recreate the same exact one. But instead, as always with my tutorial, it's all about the process of how you achieve something that has similar character to it. Not necessarily exactly the same, but something similar to it. And I'll be focusing more on the process of how to get that instead of just kind of like leading you along to follow exactly what I do you know I want you guys to explore so let's just get started first what we're gonna do is we're gonna go create a new sound and then we have to choose like the appropriate wavetable for this and for the first oscillator I am going with digital and bronze oh yeah make sure you assign this to filter one and then I'm going to oscillator 2 and then we're going to go with the saw one. And then let's put this somewhere in the middle for now and then put it here. And if we listen to this, this is what we should have. Or if we play around with the intensity, it will change kind of like the tonality of the sound. The more right we go, the more metallic it sounds. But for now, I want to go with around this part. Okay, so this is what we should have. Okay, and then the next thing is we are going to go to the filter. Let's put this uh, on a low pass. Let's turn this all the way up. And we're going to be using two filter. So we want to set this filter to be in a serial. So with serial, that means it works by going from your oscillator to filter one, and then it will go to the filter two. If we're doing it parallel, it will process everything together. But with serial, it will process filter one first, and then it will go to filter two. And then what we want to do is we want to move everything to mix two. So we just want to hear the final result you know after going through filter two so turn this up too and then we're gonna go with a band pass right here okay and then we're gonna set up a filter envelope so let's go with filter one let's kill this and we're gonna go with something that's more like kind of like a plug sound kind of filter so let's assign this here and for now let's this all the way up and let's listen to what we have nothing you know why because we haven't set the band pass and then let's turn up the band pass for now and then let's listen to what we have So uh, if we move this to mix one and mix two, which is going to be coming out from filter one, filter two, it sounds like filter one, filter two after we run it through the band pass. So for now, let's just leave it for that. The next thing is we want to create like a pitch envelope for the oscillator one. So we have like a more percussive feel to it. So what we're going to do is let's just for now we'll go lower the level and pack and then let's bring this here and let's move it to about 36 and let's listen to it
so that's what we have so far and then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to fx one and we're going to go with the dimension expander let's reduce the size a little bit And this is one thing that I forgot completely, is we need to detune this. Let's go with 5. So things are coming along nicely now, and then we're going to go with the reverb. Reduce the size. And then after that, we'll go with the EQ. And then after that, we're going to assign some microcontroller. So let's put this here. And I'm just messing around for now, you know, let's just try it out a lot. bunch of things. I don't know. We'll see where that goes. That's pretty much what we get. And then let's turn on this OTT, which is that's a multi band compressor. And we're going with the OTT preset. Let's turn that on. And then the next thing is let's bring some delay and some reverb. And then let's listen to it at the bass and the drum. While we were listening to this with the bass and the drum, I did slight adjustment. What I did was lowering the volume for the oscillator one, move the macro controller all the way down, and this is what we get. can actually make adjustment on this envelope if we want to. Let's go right there. Let's listen to it without this for now.
So basically, that's pretty much what you guys have to do. The key is a matter of creating kind of like a filter envelope that's similar to kind of like a pluck sound or a kick drum. And then also pitch envelope your first oscillator because that's kind of like the main sound where you want to get it like kind of like a percussive sounding and pitching it up with the pitch envelope that you create, which is a pretty fast attack and pretty short decay and it's all about balancing the oscillator one and oscillator two and then the effect is basically a dimension expander just to make it a little bit wider and then the reverb just kind of giving it a little bit more life to it and then we you need to compress the hell out of it and i'm using like a built-in ableton multi-band compressor with the OTT preset. If you guys are not using Ableton, you can actually get the same setting for this OTT preset by downloading like a free one from Xver Music. I think he has a OTT compressor actually, and it's free. So you can download it in Splice, I think. So yeah, so pretty much that's kind of like the process of how getting kind of like a percussive sounding chord. So you can use uh, this kind of sound for I guess pop song like this is what you came for or you can go for like a tropic house kind of vibe because it has kind of like that caribbean feel you know with the kalimba sounding so it's pretty useful sound that's pretty much how you achieve this sound and if you find this video to be helpful for you guys please give a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and if you guys have any requests just fire it up in the comment down below and Thanks for tuning in guys and I'll see you in the next one. I'll be there for